cluster fuck last night. A total nightmare, right? So yesterday was a good day and a really bad day. The good part was I made these three videos you recently saw, but then the fourth video totally went nuts. Nothing worked, I got the wrong equipment, didn't have the right tools. It was a total nightmare. I mean, look at these two ring terminals. This is the professional one we used to have when we built switchboards, and this is the one I've ordered from eBay. It looks like a baby, right? This one is 1.8 millimeters, and the other one is 2.7 millimeters thick. And then this comparison here, look at this. This one almost fits in there. So these ones, not usable. Okay, so I have found some of these ones on eBay, which I have ordered already, and they are not coming from too far away. So they should be here in a couple of days. And they also have this bevel mouth here, it's called, I think. So you can easily fit the cable into the shaft. And the shaft also is a lot longer. See, this one is 20 millimeter long. While this one is only 11 millimeters long, so almost twice as long. So I can crimp these ones twice. And this is what we did in the switchboard company. We crimped them twice. So there's a really strong and sturdy connection then. But this one, this is just a toy. This is not suitable. So I will send all these ones back to the seller here. And this is also the reason the 35 millimeter die did not work with the hydraulic crimper because there is just not enough material to crimp and you have to use the 25 millimeter. See with this one, there is so much thick copper around the cable, which can easily be crimped completely and professionally with this device. But these ones are just toys. So be aware, don't buy them on eBay or Amazon or something. Just make sure you get the right tools for you for the job. Well, and now I'm a bit in a dilemma. I've got these other ring terminals ordered, so they may take a couple of days. But what about the cable cutter? Where's the... This is what I did yesterday with the hacksaw. So don't cut the cable with the hacksaw because the, the end, they, they get straight and they get a lot thicker. I was actually able to manage to put this cable into this um, bevel mouth ring terminal here. So this was working just but there was no way to put this into the other cheat terminal here. I also tried to cut this off with the cable cutter here. It's just well, You need to have a good quality cable cutter, which makes a diagonal cut. Then you will be able to feed this cable into your ring terminals and crimp them correctly. So you should not mess up with this and, and buy these toys here. But still, I don't have a cable cutter. There is a very, very small chance that the hardware store here around the corner, well, it's about eight kilometers away, will have such a cable cutter. I, I don't think they have these cutters there because they have more like farming and fencing tools and stuff. So in the one I showed you yesterday in the video, this is at Bunnings, which is 45 kilometers away. So this takes me almost an hour to get there which I probably will do this afternoon. So I'm recharging the Tesla at the moment and then I will just go and buy one of these cable cutters there. This is just a nightmare. I thought I have all the tools, all the equipment here, but I wasn't expecting such a fuck up with these ring terminals and cutting these cables. I didn't even think about cutting the cable and how. I missed this part completely. So if you buy these thick cables, you need a good quality cutter. Otherwise you will having issues crimping this correctly to your cables. It's just, it was just one of these days, you know, when nothing worked. And it was late in the night and the situation got worse and worse and worse. So I said, okay, shut this whole thing down now, go to bed, sleep and <laughs> start again in the morning and assess the situation again and see what you can do. And then you doubt the whole project, basically, you know, you're getting so frustrated because nothing works as you would expect it. And he said, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? This was supposed to be fun. This was supposed to be something you learn about. This was supposed to be just working, you know, and it just doesn't. And then there is more and more stuff lining up and you just cannot handle it at the moment, you know. So I said, well, that's it. I, I can the whole project now. I, I leave it all as it is, put it away for a couple of weeks or months or whatever and do something completely different. You know, do some gardening, do some other stuff, 
do some more videos on the car channel again and get rid of all this battery cabling solar stuff here out of your head out of your mind okay we are driving to the hardware store now All right, and we've got the cable cutter here, which perfectly cuts our cable. Look at this, perfect. I have ordered these better uh, ring terminals now here for 35 millimeter with the longer shaft and the bevel mouth. And hopefully they're also thicker than these ones. It doesn't say in the advertising, but I hope these are the professional ones they are selling and not these toys. That is total rubbish. Then we can cut our cables here correctly and crimp this all and this should work with a 35mm die and the hydraulic press as well just fine. Alright guys, I'm feeling much better now. We can cut the cables correctly now. Everything else is organized. <sighs> what a beautiful day. As always guys, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel. Well, we shall see us again in the next video very soon when we um, keep building our battery here. So we are very close. Thanks again guys. See you then. Bye bye.